So I want to do the Silva post glacio, the Silva triptych post glacio, but I haven't practiced it or done it enough. So we're sticking to this route, even though it's probably inferior by a minute or so, at least. Any mark, set, go. So once again, Dromod 3 for Silva versus early graphite. Basically that's the trade-off and there has to be a way to do it. Um, but you'd probably have to rely on finding graphite on the surface because I don't think you can bring much more than 11 graphite back with an empty inventory, much less a full one. All right, I love the proximity to this forest that I've just spawned near, so hopefully we find some of that sweet, sweet, sweet yellow spiky green ammonium hiding in those beautiful purple hills. Okay. We had a slightly better start here. Okay, so we'll run off into the forest. Show me the ammonium. I see the ammonium. It's right here. We're doing it. We're live. We have a live save. Did anybody catch where the gateways were? Because I didn't. Oops. Uh-oh. All right. We'll start off this run with some resin, building us a canister. We want to be able to collect dirt so that we can spit out dirt into the world later when, when we want to. That's always a good thing. We're going to get a bunch of more resin because we need it for platforms and other resources and other recipes, really, throughout the rest of the run. We'll need a bunch of it, but I think what we're going to do is try and fill up our inventory as early as possible just so we can eliminate how many trips we're running back and forth. So maybe maybe one more resin here if we can. Alrighty, let's over here. Oh, we're so close to getting one here. And this little nugget will get us there. Alrighty, running back to base before we suffocate. There's more resin in the forest. Fantastic, good to know. And we can start a couple recipes off from here. So we will start, wait for our backpack to get all of its power back so we can start using the remaining power from the base into the printer. We'll empty the inventory. We'll carry one resin for breathing purposes. There's some kind of power cell over here that looks kind of useful. We'll just drop that closer to base so we can pick it up later. Now we're going to pick up some of this compound, which is useful for, again, other resources. There's a broken platform that has extenders on it. Extenders aren't going to be very useful. So we're going to leave those sitting on the broken platform. We'll rip off the broken wind turbine. Apparently some other astroneers have been here before us. That's just how the, the world kind of spawns randomly generated items to help you along the way. Um... We are beginning to lose a little bit of oxygen. The moment we walk away from our base, our habitat, we are on our backpack's oxygen kind of meter. You can see the little blue bar behind the backpack there. Once that runs out, we'll start to suffocate. We can fix that problem with a single resin and by printing an oxygen filter, you will have a couple more minutes of oxygen basically running around. So you can always trade resin to breathe. Uh, we'll try and save our resin for our own purposes, but we are going to start suffocating here. What I'm going to do is highlight the shelter, and I can't get into it from a distance, so that's okay. We'll just make it back in time. Perfect. We'll run over here and make a small printer. We will start the second... Ah! We'll start the second platform. These platforms are going to help us as we need them for large buildings to be kind of set up on top of them. And then we do need three or four or five small generators, and we're going to need to save one of these for later. So we'll just start making small generators for now. These generators are pretty useful as they allow me to generate power remotely. And that has several applications. And we'll put one on there. Alrighty, so we are out of power in our backpack, so we'll just empty things here. And I think we're getting ready to make a trip downstairs, so... Before that happens, I want to kick off another print job. I didn't find enough bites on the surface to make my small smelt, my smelter, my small smelter. Um, but that's probably fine, so we'll run back. Drop off a couple more goodies here. Large printer is a go. So now I do need to be able to breathe on the way back. So we're going to grab two resin to make some oxygen filters while we are going to run some other errands below the ground, basically. 
Gateway is south, by the way, says Commander Starfox. Thank you so much for that. We'll have to remember that. Alrighty. And now we're going to go into the caves, and we're going to try and find a bunch of bites, a bunch of goodies, a bunch of resources. Ah, uh, but you know what? I forgot to bring down a medium storage platform, so that's kind of a misstep. Hopefully we can just get a couple quick bites, and then we can run back. Also, we have a bunch of uh, aluminum here. Hold on. Where is my camera here? All right, so we have a bunch of aluminum will laterate along the way, so we don't have a great... Not like a great exit strategy right now. I'm kind of doing things a little out of order. But I think what I'll do is try and pick up the laterite that I need, about eight of it or so, and then I'm going to try and run back up. But then before I go, I want 250 bytes. So I'm just going to kind of make a quick errand. And that way I'll eliminate the need for that medium storage that I usually bring down here. And we are going to start running out of air. That's what the resin will kind of remediate here. We have one, two, three, four, five, six laterite or so. Do need this about now. Six, seven. Is this eight? Okay, let's go ahead and see if we can get find 250 bytes or so in samples or other small rocks. We can maybe mine these plants and get very close as well. There usually are uh, some samples that get dropped when you destroy plants. As long as we destroy these pop corals at a distance, they aren't too deadly. And his spines also do the same thing. Oh, these samples are quite hard to click on though, I'm not gonna lie. Alrighty, his spine. Do your worst. And there we go. I want it. I want it. Give it to me. I'm like, I'm hovering over it, but its hitbox just isn't counting. Okay, so we have 302. We probably didn't even need that last one. So we'll run back to the ramp, run upstairs, and then try and get the remaining bites after a quick hop, skip, and a jump. Uh, looks like I destroyed my ramp, so we'll try and flatten it back out, run back upstairs pretty quickly. Wood H, thank you for the reminder to bring zinc to the solo. We'll see if we remember when we get there. Look at this beautiful camera angle. What on earth? Alrighty. And large printer. You're good to go. Alrighty, so the smelter is one of them and two of these things, so we'll drop these two. Heck, hold on. Hold on. Smelter. Smelter. We didn't even research the smelter. What am I doing? Let's go ahead and click that button. Now we can build the smelter. What a concept. And then we need one of these on here, so now we are good to make the smelter. Fantastic. We have now started that we can drop off these one two three four five six seven eight that's beautiful um, we kind of want one more resin before we go anywhere but we don't have access to a bunch of resin in the base so we're going to run and just pick up a bunch of resin right now because i need at least one more to prevent suffocation in those caves down there so going and getting a bunch right now is well slow but you know, at least we're getting resin and it can't hurt too badly. While we're out here, I do see some stuff in the wreckage over to there. Mm, is that the north? Northeast, maybe? And uh, we'll go take a quick look, a quick gander, see if there's anything there that we can gather. Seeing a zinc. Nope, I saw a clay. Wrong color. There's a carbon, that's also useful. This graphite, also useful. And that copper, not useful. Okay. Inventory, kind of full. But we can fill up on organic and then just... Uh, okay, we're very full already. So we'll run back to base. I think we'll make it back in time without suffocating. That'll be interesting. We'll see what happens. It's going to be super, super duper close. Perfect, alrighty. And we can drop off all the goodies in our inventory, all these goodies over here. And then I kinda want this to finish, and I don't actually have, there we go. I was gonna say, I don't actually have any power to help it along. Once this finishes, I can kinda start the uh, smelting of all this metal so that I can use it when I get back to base. You know, you could be a uh, Glacio and you'll yell zinc. I kind of do know that, believe it or not. You kind of just always yell zinc, but you know what? It's always a good reminder. It never is wrong. Alrighty, we got the aluminum smelted. Our smelter's running at low power, but that's okay. We don't really need it immediately. We just wanted to autonomously process some of 
that while we are out collecting bites and doing other amazing things like collecting three zinc. Yeah, Tomas, thank you for sharing your appreciation for Hastu in the channel. It is always appreciated. So we need three. I, I call this zinc. It's actually sphalerite, but it smelts and turns into zinc. But we need four of it, not three of it. So there's four of it. Now we need four quartz as well. But we have a little bit of time and some comp compound to just hanging out on the ground. I'm going to push my luck with the filters just a little bit. I can't push it too much, but I do have some time before I am forced to just kind of go do something about it. We'll pick up that power cell, but then we will drop it the moment we don't need it anymore. And before I gather all of this clay, nope, that's quartz. Before I gather all this quartz, we're gonna power this box. These boxes are little gifts sent by the Exodynamic Corporation. They are useful, they are helpful, they give us what we need, and once we solve the puzzle by opening it, we get 400 or so bytes, and that is a fantastic trade. I have four quartz, I have four sphalerite. I want to carry these power cells around, but I really am not in a great position to be able to do that, so we will just run around. We'll look around at our base. The package item indicator has been destroyed. I cannot get lost or too lost, I should say, but we'll do what we can. I think we've already been that direction. Yep, yeah, I accidentally destroyed my little package item tutorial helper thing. So that normally leads me back to base, but mm, if you move, if you gesture around your base in the wrong way, it will get you destroyed, so. There was also a little bit of talk, maybe, maybe a rumor, that it might be changed or it might not be visible be through, through walls, which saddens me a little bit, but it is what it is. So now we're in the caves, basically trying to get as many bites as we can to get up to 2,000 in time. We have 945, we're about halfway there. The earlier we get to 2,000, the better. And hopefully we get there within some amount of time. If we get more boxes like we just found from EXO, that'll be useful. We don't have any laterite space but our next oxygen filter will give us a space. I see a box and I want the box. So we are halfway through our current oxygen reserves. It's fine. Ah, here's a box It needs power, but it needs power, but it doesn't have a battery symbol on the front. So you can't like fill up its battery symbol. So in this case, you just need to uh, kind of give it so much power, to power that it just blows off the top. And I turned that one on accidentally. And then this one, needs a ladder right and that's why we picked it up and i do need one of those to continue breathing and alrighty so we should be good 2200 and something bites and i don't exactly remember where base is but i'm just going to take a blind shot in the dark that it's kind of up through here um might be a little more to my left but i'm not too worried about it so we're basically creating oh there's another box if only we needed it Gonna make these very steep ramps, and then when you're running up a steep ramp, spamming 80, 80, 80 seems to work faster. Okay, we were here before, so that means we need to go all the way over here. We don't have much inventory space left, but maybe we can carry a compound. Eh, we don't really have time to pick up a compound. And we can't even pick up this. I guess we can carry it along this way though. Alrighty. So we're doing okay. In terms of pace, right? I normally like starting the shuttle a little earlier than what I do now, but I'm okay with how far I've gotten. So we're gonna continue smelting the rest of this ladder, right? And we're gonna do this thing where we take off this. <laughs> there we go, alrighty, turn on this, cause why not? Um, I guess there's not a good reason to turn that on right now, not to think about it, but it's fine. Alrighty, so we have all of those out. I do not need these. We'll make some more on the way. And I do need two aluminum. I can now research the small shuttle, which we'll need later. And the thing that makes the shuttle fly in the air, which is a big old rocket that's used to the bottom of it. We can go over here and start it. And that's our first split. A little bit behind, but not too far behind. And now I need to go make preparations to go off on another grand adventure. Usually I take this platform um, so we'll turn it off, and I'm going to make my medium storage, but I forgot to make it a little earlier, but that's fine. 
that's fine. While we're waiting, uh, probably picking up a little bit more resin because, well, we just have a little bit of downtime while we're waiting for that resin to finish, or that medium storage to finish. Not much more resin here. Okay, okay, I'm just on the wrong side of the deposit. Hey, Toaster. Hey, what's up, 22 million? Alrighty, so this finished. We can unpack that. This can go back. We can plug these things back in, and we have a little mini platform, and we need to run south-ish. South, southeast, somewhere around there. Usually a little east, but we'll make it work. We are looking for compound, maybe a little bit of resin. Won't hurt too much. Ooh. Captain Space Toaster. Worm Woods Plant Mafia. What will he get into There's next? Always, that's always what we do. That's always what we do. We just tell Toaster to remember Zig. Okay, I think I saw the little laser. Did I though? I did. There it is. There it is. Straight to the south. Thank you to whoever who called that out. I'm going to pick up this to continue breathing. Ooh, I see my compound. Is this enough compound to continue? I hope so. So we need five compounds to make five generators. Five generators opens the gateway or powers the gateway. I'm not getting a whole lot of compound from that, so we're just going to move on. There's probably a better compound deposit over yonder, and I see it. So what we're going to do is walk all the way over to this. I see a battery. I want that. Click there. Alrighty. And compound. Oh my goodness, look at all this compound. This is fantastic. One, two. And an organic. Don't really need that yet. One, two, three, four, five? Question mark? I continue clicking the button. I need a little bit of power in my inventory. And I want one more compound. That's probably two, yep. Not the end of the world. Alrighty, so I think we have enough compound for five generators. So we're gonna continue hammering those out. I think I need one more organic, and I think I've got enough compound for a bonus generator. That bonus generator, ooh, fall damage, uh, will go in my inventory, and I'll use it for power as I'm running around. Okay, hey look, even more ammonium. That's actually fantastic. We can use that on the way back, so. Alrighty, so we have all of those ready to go, and we have all these ready to go. I need a little bit more resin to continue breathing. Uh, any resin will do, but I think I remember some just beyond here in the forest, so this is what I need to kind of go down into the caves with. Hopefully we get three or four resin here. Okay, good. The, the deposit continues a little bit more. It wasn't just a surface deposit. Fantastic. Toaster turned off low latency by accident. Oh, okay, I've also just been really bad at reading chat, so if that's what you're wondering, um, you can measure latency by typing in a message in chat, and then you'll see when your message shows up. Okay, I took a huge bit of fall damage because I just completely failed to make a ramp. All right, so go ahead and... Um, where's my generator? There it is. I have way too much resin. Okay, well, you know, lessons learned. We'll make a filter, and then we're going to start our descent into the core of Silva. On the core slide, here we go. So course lighting is kind of like roller rollerblading, uh, except, you know, you just do it without the rollerblades. Weird. Um, so yeah, if you're wondering why latency is bad, it's either because I'm just taking that long to respond, or uh, I did change a keyframe setting, and I wonder if that somehow like increased latency by like a measurable amount. All right, so I think we've slowed down here a little bit. It's got a steeper angle. Is this too steep of an angle? We'll find out the hard way. Yes, yes, the answer is that it's too steep of an angle. We found out the hard way. <laughs> and, okay, a little little less steep of an angle, although we immediately hit this hard dirt. I don't like this hard dirt. Tier 1 dirt. Somebody commented on one of my videos earlier. They're like, oh, did you know there's a glitch? You can mine through the harder dirt without a drill mod. And it confused me a little bit. They were talking about um, a glitch that sounded like it was on console. So maybe there is a bug in console and you just can. That's just a thing you can do in console. But maybe, oh, hold on. Yeah, maybe um, it was different in that like they just thought that like you shouldn't be able to mine tier one dirt, but you could. Yeah, I don't know. So regardless, 
You can mine through the first level of harder to mine dirt with your terrain tool, you just are a little slower. But any any greater difficulty terrain tool, any any more like harder to mine terrain cannot be mined without a drill mod. So we will run into that in a bit. The green is still level one, but there's yellow that will come up soon and we can't mine the yellow. With low latency, I've seen it as low as two seconds. Um, so yeah, I think, I think what's going on is that I am just bad at reading. Cause yeah, no, I, I have been pretty bad at like responding to chat as fast as I feel like I should. So if y'all are noticing me being slow and delayed, that's probably me. But I'll double check. Uh, if I can go lower latency, I'll do that. Um, I didn't make any changes to my Twitch recently. Hey, look, there's yellow dirt. So if if there's something that I gotta do, I'll do it, but I can't commit to doing it today and I apologize for that. Um, but I did change a setting in OBS today. That doesn't increase latency by a lot. But maybe, who knows? I was basically, I noticed that like I was framing pretty badly. Um, so I just kind of followed a bunch of recommended settings for the NVE and C encoder to try and make this video stream a little more like presentable to the eyes, a little more fluid. Oh, we are hitting a lot of yellow dirt today. That's fine. You can usually find a way past it, but it usually slows you down. Normally I want to hit a cavern by this point. I want out. Yeah, here we go. So this is basically the final cavern layer. You can tell by the fact that there's almost no gravity. And we're looking for quartz and graphite. It spawns together, so if you see one, you'll get the other. So we see some quartz in the distance. We see some free bites along the way. We'll grab those. Sure, why not? A nice 300 bites or so. A little less. As we're trying to make it to these here rocks. I am just greedy, though, and I want all these samples, even though they really aren't that dense. But it's okay. We'll go ahead and burn what dirt that we have. Um, and I guess we'll just try and scale the mountain here by jumping and then putting out dirt. Jumping again and then putting out dirt right below us here. Okay, so we've made it in. And now we're after as much quartz and as much graphite as we can get, but we need way more graphite than quartz. We only need two quartz. So we're just gonna be chucking all this out. And then we have a bunch of resin for breathing, so we'll be down here for a little bit. We need 11 graphite. No, we need 10, so there's one up in the base already. Fantastic. What age repeats yelling zinc? And it's just a good meme, you know? Like, especially when I've forgotten zinc onto solo at least five times, like, in decent attempts. Yeah, I know, like, it's a good thing to just yell at me for. All right, let's go ahead and make another one of those. Okay. So far, I'm liking where we're at. We're gonna go ahead, refill our backpack, and then I'm normally not one to mine in these like dense rocks for too long, but there w seems to be a good density of bites, just, or sorry, a good density of resources that I'm after. Quartz compound and whatnot. Okay, I did get a graphite, but I dropped it in the wall. So I don't know where that clipped out. It might be on the ground. There is a hiss mine also shooting at us that might kill us. So we're gonna hope that we don't meet ends with our maker too early here. Cause that would be super duper unfortunate. And I don't know where the hiss mine is though. So I'm a little terrified to continue moving up. It was always the funniest immediately after you hit launch. No, yeah, it looks good when you're like, hey, by the way, for this run, like, you just, you better not forget zinc. Like, th th thanks, I've, <laughs> I've got a lot to do though before we get there. All right, so I think there are three zinc on the ground. So we'll just drag that and there's this one too. Fantastic, we can't carry it though. Alrighty, so where can we get more zinc? We're kind of running out. Is there more, sorry, more graphite? Is there more graphite up here? Yeah, there is. We're still getting some amount of graphite around here. How many more do we need though is the real question. Also, why is my light not really lighting up this area up here? Probably because the game just doesn't want me to have light. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We need three more graphite. I'm probably able to get three graphite from that deposit, but another deposit might get me there faster. So we'll avoid the dagger roots and we see a nice deposit on the ground. Ground deposits are pretty quick, so let's see what we can get without dying to dagger roots.
Okay, so we got two more graphite. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So one more graphite. And maybe over here will be a good spot. Graphite two. Okay, we got one more graphite. Let's go ahead and like make sure that we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There's a resin on the ground here. I'm gonna make a filter, carry the second one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We have ten graphite. Alrighty, and this needs to go in our inventory, because of that's if your if your inventory is full and you print something with your um backpack, it fills up your inventory. And then it so it drops the new item on the ground. But then it opens up your inventory. Because you now have a your printer slot open, so the printer slot rotates around. It's a mess, and I'm hitting yellow dirt up the wazoo, so maybe this way? Usually there's a way around yellow dirt, and we have a lot of oxygen, so I'm not too worried about time. But I just want to go fast, and this is, well, not fast. We're hitting a pretty good yellow bowl here. But eventually it'll sneak on by. So we'll take our two graphite that we need to be carrying around and we'll do this here. Now, when I do get past it, like I just did, we're going to drop out, drink our O2 filter. Oh no, I can't. Weird. We'll take that. No, we will not. Oh dear. Well, I sure hope one of those falls down because I need one. Well, worst case scenario, it doesn't fall down. And uh, okay, fantastic. One did. No, I had it in my hands. So there's a graphite on this side of something, maybe? I don't see it. Okay, well, we'll complete it. Okay, we're a little bit behind, but there's a graphite out here, maybe? Maybe? I don't see where it went, and I need it. Where did it go? There it is. Okay. What a mess. I was trying to drop out my oxygen filter that I didn't necessarily need, switch it up for a graphite, and then carry the other graphite in my hand, but I just fuddled around and couldn't get it fast enough. So with that being said, we can now get a little bit of our inventory space back by just cramming graphite on this thing. And put that there. And now we have this ammonium that's right here. And I want two of it, if possible. And we won't have inventory space for all of it, so we will figure out what we want to drop here. One. I'm going to do need to make an oxygen filter very shortly here. Please tell me there's more ammonium here. There is. Fantastic. We'll make that oxygen filter. We'll try to stretch it so we don't suffocate before we get to more resin. Well, I'm glad this is not a ammonium deposit I was relying on being very large because we are just not getting a lot of it. A little more ammonium down here it says. Your indicator will show where ammonium is as you are mining around. There's some right here. Oh, what a mess. And put that one here. We're going to take our filter and just drop it on the ground to extend how much time we have on it. We're looking for one more ammonium before it's too late. Yikes. I mean, we could always just grab ammonium nearby base. Um, and I guess that's what we'll do because I am wasting a lot of time here. Hey, more ammonium. Weird. Just have to complain about it and then leave and then maybe you'll get it. Okay. I'm okay with that strategy. Don't know if it's super consistent or not. Where did my platform go? Uh, excuse me? What? Excuse me, why are you... Um, I'm just not going to ask any more questions. I know I need to run to the north. Um, I'm guessing my terrain tool bumped the platform and just threw it with bad physics. But that was weird. And I do know that I don't have much oxygen left. So we'll take this off and... Let's trade it for a generator, so that way I can just get maybe a little bit more time out of it before it's all too late. One more resin will definitely help me get back in time as well. 
was a little bit to my left here. A hey, free solar panel. Oh, I forgot to take the battery back. Oops. Batteries are nice. Um, getting a bunch of batteries is super helpful. Getting three batteries is probably, like, optimal. But anyways, we have this to put back, this to expand. We need to grab some aluminum. Oh, we need, to, we need to do so much here. Hold on. Moment. I'm just going to throw things around in base. Okay, this thing. Um, and we were so close to getting that a couple times. There we go. And this is in. This also off. Just want this here to help out with the power situation. This goes in the shuttle. One of these goes in my inventory. One of these goes on the bottom of the shuttle. And I need to smelt zinc. Hold on. Let me get that going right away. that zinc so that's why we got to do it right now we can empty out our inventory here though i'm glad i looked at my terrain tool so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven we have all eleven of those two of these hide over here we have a quartz we're we lost a quartz somewhere I wonder where that went to right here perfect Got both zinc. We never put the second shuttle thruster on the bottom of the shuttle, so let's do that now. All right. Flying to solo, a little bit behind base. Might have to go use her favorite kitchen appliance soon. Uh, do I remember what age's favorite kitchen appliance? Was it the panini press? I don't think it was. To solo, here we go. <laughs> Leo Tomas zinc. Yeah, wait, hold on, zinc. What are, what are we doing with zinc again? Like, why? Wh why did why did Tester pick up zinc again? Uh, turns out, if you don't bring it, you can't complete the solo. It's very important to the run. All right, we want to land next to this thing. Let me land next to it. All right, that might be too close. Let me land next to it. And please don't consider it invalid. Just let me land. It'll be cool. Don't eject me back into space. It'll make me pretty happy. Oh, that's that is that is dangerously close to not being a legal landing position. Hey. We're in. All right, so we need eight generators. Hey, Toaster, you forgot to make a medium platform A to save a little bit of time. Hmm? Yep, I've been forgetting that as well, but at least we didn't forget the zinc, so. Doesn't help that there's some dagger roots like right here, so we're going to just kind of dance around those. Get, get. So I think I've got four. One, two, three, four, five, six. Two more. There's one more compound. We need one more compound here. Okay, now we need eight organic. And maybe in a resin for, re for breathing. Fill up on... Hopefully this generates organic here. Fantastic. Filling up our backpack with power. Need more of those. More organic. More of everything, really. This 
pretty slow, I'm not gonna lie. But we're doing what we can as fast as we can, so. Here we go, here's, here's good organic right here on the moon. Weird, you can't, you can't turn on generators from there, apparently. Okay, so, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I lost a generator, or I just set it on the ground somewhere? There it is, okay. So now I have to play this game. I'm gonna bring the shuttle closer to me so I don't suffocate. And, uh, one, one more. And, clickety clackety. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We did it. Yeah, we did it. Okay, fantastic. All right, we're full on power. We need at least one of these resin. That was not one resin. Where is the resin? <laughs> Please, moon. Moon, I need to breathe. Okay, we're, we need more resin than that. That was zero resin. We have one, and uh, we need at least one more. Safety. There it is. Wow. Okay, so close. We're going to go into the mines. And the issue we need a resin for is there's no guarantee that you can get Wolframite in time. So sometimes you just find Wolframite super easily. Like, like, like this. This is, this is fantastic Wolframite. Sometimes you look for a minute and don't find anything. We seen one of these. Alrighty, we're going down to the center of DeSolo. And uh, we don't want to die from plants, and that can happen, so hopefully it doesn't. Like that hispine right there. That's pretty close. It could kill me. I don't want it to, so I'm going to try and run away from it. Okay. That was kind of dangerous. I probably could have routed that a little better, but we'll see what happens. Once in a while, like, it properly detects that a hispine can't shoot through a wall. Sometimes it doesn't, and it just kind of lets a hispine do whatever it wants to. So we have a Daigaru and a hispine already. Um... So the safest option is near these dagger roots, because, because. So I probably could have dug down a little bit over here. Yeah, okay, hold on. Doing okay. Exclamation point zinc. Oh, that'd be an interesting reminder. Yeah, what would that command do? I mean, it would probably just like belabor the point and remind everybody to bring zinc. Yeah, I think that'd be fine. And zoop, and zinc, and zinc. And now we are basically done with DeSolo. Alrighty, triptych one, triptych two. Alrighty, we are losing just a little bit more time. We did just kind of fuddle around on the surface of DeSolo. Our descent was a little obnoxious, but I'm pretty hopeful that we can still just be quick. We didn't have any surface power, but we're doing what we can. We're doing what we can. We have some time to save in the back half of the run, so we'll see. We'll see how things shake out. I do want to carry back all of these generators, though, and because they aren't on, we just have to manually load them on. Okay, we'll just let that one power up for a little bit. Last one. Yep, okay, this one also, shove it in there, all right. Going to Glacio. Here we need 20-ish, 22,000-ish bites, but thankfully grinding bites in Glacio goes much faster. Can you send me an Olympic-sized swimming toaster? Uh, I am fully prepared to, but you better be prepared to receive it. Uh, the, the shipping on that thing is, like, horridly expensive, but you should see what it does to your house. Out of the goodness of my heart, I, I might save it. I, I might not send you the Olympic-sized swimming toaster. I wouldn't want to destroy your domicile. 
That being said, I would also like to land on Glacio, but this is a thing that happens. You just kind of get trolled by Glacio a lot, and you don't get any like valid landing locations until you orbit most of the planet. It's, it functions as a nice donation break if we had donations to read off, and it functions as a really nice coffee break otherwise. You want the Olympic-sized swimming toaster? An odd claim, because doing so would likely destroy almost everything you know and love in terms of earthly possessions. Like, it, there, there's no grace and finesse about it. Like, a large airplane, like, huge airplane, um, just flies over and just airdrops the world's largest toaster onto your place of living. And, uh, how do you not get electrocuted? That's a great question. Um, as far as I know, the Olympic-sized swimming toaster is effectively waterproof, but also requires to be hooked up directly to high voltage power lines so who knows who knows how it works Alrighty, where is iron just a little bit over here it looks like and that'll be fine we need one of these and then we can keep on running to uh, the rest of our objectives so one hematite is all that we needed there that'll smelt into an iron later and a quick descent maybe right here or so some harder to mine dirt. And we can wheel back up, try and pull the rocket down here. Shuttle, where'd you go? Shuttle. Alrighty. So we made a mistake last run and we unhooked, we unpacked that, so we're not going to. So we're going to leave it there and we have a bunch of space left over. So with that being said, we're going to keep our eye out for other things that are useful to bring back home. Clay, most likely. Um, we probably won't find any, but that's okay. I don't need any more laterite, so we'll avoid that. I don't need any more quartz, but we do need some of the titanium. We need six of this, so that's why we have so many spaces open in our inventory, but we don't necessarily have... We have two other spaces in our inventory that just like aren't being used by anything, but I don't really have any strong inclination of what to do. I want to run northwest today try and find a new terrain and avoid double backing as best as I can and we can drop a rip off the bottom of the shuttle but we aren't going to put the new one on yet I made a mistake last run and I put the new shuttle on and then I lost the new shuttle thruster then I had to get trapped on Glacia and make another one so we're going to avoid that today okay there's all six titanium a little earlier than probably than what I needed because we're still stuck here until we get 22,000 bytes. But in case you've been looking, every single time I pick up a sample, it is worth about 300 solid bytes here. Let's go see what these are right here. 339, 371, yeah, 350 per sample is just fantastic. Three of those is 1,000 bytes ish and so with that kind of in mind we're after 22,000 but I think we're going to do just fine as long as we keep on finding you know these tight clusters of samples all put a bunch together it's not too uncommon on the first level caverns of Glacio but they take forever to respawn so the important part is that you continue running around without double backing and we're going to try and keep that in the center of the shuttle but we're inevitably going to rip that out again samples please just a sample over here, maybe? Uh, nope, those are just mushrooms. They are dark gray, which, uh, probably my least favorite sample color, but you just gotta make do with it, you know? You get, you get whatever color samples you get for that save, and sometimes they change color midway through. Uh, dark gray is probably the hardest to see, because everything else is kind of dark gray, and, and even, if, even if you think you see something bright sticking out, that might be a sample, it's probably just a mushroom. So you have to find the shape of the samples that you're after. Ceramic plates powered by a couple of RTGs that will be more than toasty. Um, that would be a pretty good heating element, but would it would it toast the bread or would it just radiate the bread in such a fashion that it would no longer? I mean, it would be considered to have been toasted, but it would have also had been irradiated and therefore unfit for human consumption. I mean, I don't know. Maybe that's not a real question anyway. But let's see. Any samples on here? No. But we do have an oxygen filter. That isn't super important. Any samples hiding on the horizon? None. None to speak of. Are uh, you ready? Oh, these are boomaloons, by the way. They're plants that explode when you walk near them. They aren't too deadly of all things, but they do cause explosion damage. So don't bring anything that explodes near them, like fuel or hydrazine, and you'll be good to go. Um, samples. 
Oh my goodness, gray is such a bad color. I wish you could like set it, or I wish I knew there, what, what the mystery was behind it, because both of those things unfortunately remain a mystery to me, and I do not know how to select a better color or kind of make changes so that things are, you know, a little easier to see. Like maybe this pink color. This pink color is probably my second favorite on Glacia. My most favorite is there's like a very vibrant green because titanium is green, but it's pretty easy to tell what titanium is. And then the samples are green and that's awesome. But I will take lavender any day over gray. You betcha, you, you betcha. So, uh, boom balloon, boom balloon, go away please, thank you. Ripped out a generator so that can go back in wherever. And I think I'm running a little more to the east than I want to. Eh, that's fine. I said northwest earlier, but now I'm going northeast as long as I'm going to north-ish and not south-ish because we were pretty close to the south pole. So we want to run away from the south pole as best as we can. I saw a sample. Nope, I saw a generator. Weird. I, how did I see the bright blue of the hologram from a generator and say that was a sample? I don't know. Leo Tomas, what if I want to lose all of my earthly possessions? Well, out of the goodness of my heart, I think that that's a bad life decision, so I'm going to avoid sending you an Olympic-sized swimming toaster. You know, just because I would prefer not to have you flattened by a giant toaster. Maybe it's more selfish than that, but let's just say I think not being flattened by a giant Olympic swimming toaster is probably for the better. Although now I'm suddenly thinking about like a scene from like a cartoon where like instead of a piano being hooked up at the end of a pulley, it's just a giant toaster, like a just humongous toaster, like suspended by a rope on a pulley, waiting like you know like toasters waiting for like somebody to like walk underneath it or something with wide eyes in anticipation. How many bites do we have? Twelve thousand. We are cooking, but we don't have twenty-two thousand. We're almost there though. About. A smidge over halfway, I think is the, the technical term. Uh-huh. Bites on Glacio are always just an RNG fest. Sometimes you get a bunch of them. Sometimes you get very few. And it's always a bummer. Because th there isn't really another way to do this that's more efficient. There are slower ways to do it. And so, you know, this part of the run just always irks me. But, you know... You gotta do what you gotta do. I need 22 million bites. This 22 million. Um, gosh. I guess we're streaming until Monday. And even then, I don't even know if you'd be able to get 22 million that quickly. Gosh. Uh, I'd have to call into work and everything else too. Um, so I'm pretty sure 22 million bytes is just not a realistic goal. Also, did you know that boom balloons interfere with your hitbox? You have to destroy them in order to get at bytes that are within their domain because reasons. All right, hey, look, more samples. Yeah. Oh, wow, there are like a bunch of samples in this direction, but the hitbox is on them. Difficult, challenging, and obnoxious, but clickable. And that's mostly what's important. They are clickable. Alrighty, there probably are samples in that direction, but that direction isn't northerly, it's southerly. Southern southernly or is it southerly? I don't I don't know my words good enough to know for certain. It's probably southerly. I don't think you would cram the N in there. But if somebody who knows words gooder than toaster wants to clarify, I am suddenly curious. There's a hiss mine over here, so we're just going to try and just run past it without really pausing. And that's usually how to deal with those. They aren't that dangerous, but they're obnoxious. And when your movement is limited, that's when they get very dangerous very quickly. I guess we'll take this free power. Because, again, we have, like, three inventory spaces or whatever that are, like, free. Ooh, what's in here? A light? A packager. I want the packager. That saves me a thousand bytes. That's about it. Okay. Cool. Now we only need 21,000. 
the recipe for a packager is a thousand bytes, and if you find one in wreckage or from what we just found, like the remains of an astrodeer who didn't seem to have as good of a time as we did, they should have remembered to bring down the shuttle with them while they were exploring the caves. Um, then you get to basically avoid having to make one. And you only need one. Now, granted, it is nice to have more than one packager, but if you don't have to make it, then we'll take that opportunity and not make it. So we have 20,000. We are getting very close. I see two more samples right here and a hole that I almost fell in. Oops. One more sample gets me there, but I think we can just start researching things and seeing how close we get without losing a whole heap of time. So let's go ahead and start clicking buttons. We need the large of all the shuttles, the largest of all the shuttles, the large storage, that platform, just to make things efficient. Chem lab, the Atmo. And there's a large medium storage silo that helps me carry a bunch of goodies all around. The boost mod and the wide mod help me drill quickly and fast. And then we don't have enough for the packager, but that's actually all that we needed, technically. So we should be good to go. We will cram our shuttle thruster on the bottom of the shuttle. I see a couple bites here, and it literally is just a backup to have them. Now we're going to cram our shuttle in the wall, and if it works, we have a glitch to perform. So we're going to try and clip into the wall. It didn't quite work out the first time. So now we're just going to try and clip into the wall a second time. It didn't work, so we're going to keep on trying, because if we do this correctly, you can sometimes just launch from the back edge of terrain. The shuttle will perform a collision check with a laser out the nose of the shuttle. It will check to see if there is any terrain in the way, but terrain in Astroneer is one way, so peeking out from the bottom of some terrain is, like, just fine. And as long as we do that with you know, a couple different positions, eventually one of them succeeds, so. TV Josh says both words work. Both seem recognized, so southerly and southerly uh, both apparently indicate something in the southern direction. Today I learned, and perhaps you have as well. Huh. So now we're wanting to land back at base. There is a indicator of where our base is sometimes. I think it's this one, but I literally can't tell. Um, yeah, it's this one. I now see the home triangle. You're just hoping there wasn't another landing location in front of the home triangle, but I think it's fine. And so now this is like one of the most stressful parts of the run. My commentary at this point just goes out the window because I am going to be making a bunch of recipes as quickly as possible and managing too much for me to really be able to, to manage. So we're going to first try and get these nicer metals out of the way, emptying our inventory, getting items onto platforms and using power when we need to or can. This can hide right, oh, it. there, alrighty. And we have items. The glass is over here. Okay, now we can go make the chem lab neat. We need to start smelting this titanium so that would be a nice thing to get to next. There's also this quartz that needs to be smelted. I need this. And we do need that, and there's a compound over here that we need. So this can take a step off to the side for now. Once the chem lab finishes, we'll be able to use it. But before that happens, let's go ahead and make our drill mods, our boost mod, our wide mod. And... These will help us mine faster and quicker and wider, I suppose. Now that's kind of a hard description to explain here. And what else do I need to smelt? More titanium, I suppose. So it seems like we've gone through most of the power. So uh, where can we, we can put things up here? We don't have a solar panel or a small wind turbine really to help us out much further. And that's going to be fine. We're after a bunch of things, and I don't want to waste too much time here, but I don't have a lot of other things to do with my time here. The, so the silo needs two titanium, so we're going to make two silos. We can start the first one, which just, again, eats into the power of our base. So maybe we can just kind of daisy chain more generators into things. Okay, the atmosphere condenser finished. We can set that up and use it to make a plastic with a carbon compound. That will get us on the way to atmospheric condensers, which we do need a little bit of. And wind turbine is spinning. That gives us a little bit of power. I'd like to see that. Okay. Got our first 
silo done. We have a iron, a ceramic. We don't have a glass yet, so we do need to finish the glass. I kept on putting other things in front of it in priority or in queue, so okay. We have all these generators. That's fantastic. So now the glass is starting to smell. We can put the other things there. Alrighty, second silo here. This can just kind of set out some around here. I don't have the ability to make myself a, another platform, so we can start the atmospheric condenser, but before I start leaving for more ammonium, is there anything I can really do? I kind of want to get my medium platform up and running. So what we're gonna do is try and get a bunch of resin now. Fantastic. So I don't know if that was all the resin I needed, but it was definitely a good amount of resin. So we can go ahead and make a couple of those. Three resin over here makes me a medium storage silo. Nope, a medium storage platform is what I was trying to say, but a misspeak occurred. Alrighty. I do need just a generator for my own person. And we are kind of finished here. We can make some more carbon, I suppose. And this is kind of going to take a while to finish. So are we at full power or close to it? Yeah, we are. Okay. So, 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 so. Another one of these. And uh, another quick round of resin, I suppose, now that we're backpacks at full capacity. Full backpack. So we just need a lot of resin. Still. But we finally have a drill mod that makes collecting it very quick, so... Alrighty, I think that's good enough for now. We'll run back. Do what we can. That's our third platform. No, wait, hold on. What, why did that take two? Oops. Made a mistake. Don't know what, but I made a mistake. I think I just made another medium storage that I didn't need to. Alrighty, so we have the atmosphere condenser ready to go. I need this to start making me hydrogen, so... We will start with that and just kind of go collect a bunch of ammonium at this point. We need 22 ammonium, 23 ammonium, and I think I can get most of that here. Okay, we'll turn on our generator. And before our inventory fills up, I'll start depositing some of the items into the shuttle. Because I don't want these to get too lost here. Cool beans. Alrighty. Get the shuttle out of the way and continue picking up stuff. Now it does seem like our ammonium deposit is beginning to give away, as in we've researched a lot of it. Oh look, free oxygen. Take that for a little bit, because it doesn't really hurt us. But I am a little sad that our ammonium deposit just kind of gave, gave up the ghost. There's usually ammonium nearby, I just don't know where the core of the deposit is, so there's a, a weird trick that we can do that involves kind of clipping the shuttle into an area, like so. We're gonna kind of shove this maybe there. And then any more ammonium around? No, not really. We mined all of it. It usually would show up here. Bummer. Okay, so there might be ammonium here, but I'm just not seeing anything, so we need to go find more. I, th I think I saw some over here. Saw something over here. I'm not sure what, though. Okay, so um, I might have just seen, like, terrain, so what we're going to do is knock these rocks around. Hey, there it is. There it is. Okay, so more ammonium has been found right here. A lot of ammonium here. Oh no, it's clipping into the ground. Okay, well we wasted two of it. Hopefully we don't need to find that later. Oh, we have so much not ammonium in our inventory, so we just filled up on organic there. A good find for ammonium right here, honestly. Okay, so the front side is full. We have one in the back already. 
So that is 15 total. There we go. There's the shortcut to turn on the generator from the backpack. There we go. A good dense deposit of ammonium. It continues. much more we need, but we're getting dangerously close to all of the ammonium that we needed for the run. Excuse me while I don't have good backpack APM. Okay, so we have 23 right now. Okay, so we're done collecting ammonium. I see some compound here. Compound is fantastic if we can get some. So we'll collect what we can. And then use it to run back to base. extra ammonium here. I'm going to keep that, just in case I made a mistake counting, but I might just have an extra ammonium altogether. And we're going to continue by uh, <laughs> going to be making a bad ramp up here. Oh dear, look at this ramp. I can barely walk up it. Flatten it out a little bit. Where'd the shuttle go? Right around here. Buried a little bit. And can I carry the whole shuttle? I can. Base is... Oh dear. Where did base go? I think I'll just run to the clearing and see what I can find. Also, anything useful here? Nope. Okay. Here's the first ammonium pit. So that must mean base is just over here. Awesome. Free compound while we're out. Compound? Free organic while we're out. We do need a lot of organic, so we're going to use organic to power our base as much as we can. I do believe I have two carbon, so let's go ahead and make the two more carbon that I know I will need. And we're basically done. This just finished. Fantastic. We can get another round of five, but we also have this whole platform thing here that is going to be pretty useful. Now we can drop these out, and then we can solve the power situation by just putting all of our generators that we've been making on this thing and turning them on as we get organic. And then we can start making ammonium-based uh, fuel. Hydrazine, I believe. And we will need a bunch of that. We have one, and we still could just use more power, so. The more power, the better, I suppose. There's a lot to do out here. But once that generator turns off, or once that smelter turns off, it'll give us a little bit of leeway here. We can put this over here. We got our first hydrazine. And keep it going. Or carbon. I think some of our generators can be turned off now. Yeah, one of them can be, at least. And then this will need to be swapped out soon. I think I'm good to actually load up this oxygenator into the base now. Alrighty, we want to go back to medium platform A's when we get the chance. Okay. That one finished. Now I just need two more. Alrighty. Doing okay. Just need more more of everything, right? A lot more compound is needed as well. So this is finished, we'll rip it off. Okay, got one hydrogen. There's the second one. Fantastic. So now we're done with that. Now we need two nitrogen. And we just need to race through all of these recipes as best we can. I also need more compound. There are two ways of getting compound, and that's through the soil centrifuge or through mining it. There should be some not too far away, so I'm going to rely on mining it as best as I can. Okay, we're done with this. We can turn it off. We can take these, put it over here. And now we have too many generators running, so we'll turn off some of the more full ones. And 
Let's see here. What can we save? I wonder why we don't need any power all of a sudden. It's like we just stopped using all of the power in our base, but I guess that's because we have too many machines running or something to that effect. All right, so we're using the last. Let's see here, that one goes here. So I guess we need only one more and then we should be done. Something doesn't seem right about that though. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, I know why. These three need to be ripped off and moved over here. That's why I've got extra ammonium out here. Okay, so now we can go ahead and start making graphene, which is just two to the left in the re recipe number system. Then we can put nine more graphite on here because we need 10 total graphene. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This one's extra because we have the packager extra on there already. And this is almost running at full speed, right? Let's drop one more on there just to make sure. Alrighty. And I should have some aluminum over here. Solid fuel thrusters. We need a couple of these here. So we'll just knock an extra generator on to make sure things are running at full speed. And then I do need to start filling up my recipes here very shortly. Oh, one of my generators ran out. And there's probably an extra aluminum hiding over here. There is. Alrighty, I want to get my titanium alloy done here. The titanium alloy will be then used to make a very large shuttle, but I don't have any more clay and I used all my compound. Okay, so I need to soil extract clay and I'm gonna be a little bit in a tight spot here, so oops. Okay, compound. Where can I get compound? Um, it was, there are was some over here. But I'm going to need to make a soil centrifuge, I'm pretty sure. Okay. Hopefully I still have an aluminum in the base to kind of fix that. So I guess just doing it now is a bummer, but we'll deal with it. I could have used the two compound in my base to make the soil centrifuge then, but Sabriel Medina says hello. Hello, I just called that. So I have the soil centrifuge. I, I did research it. I didn't make it yet, but we're doing okay. Alrighty, I don't know if I've got an extra aluminum hiding around, but hopefully I do soon. Back to graphene, and we have a couple of extra generators here. I need to make a soil centrifuge, but I'm lost. I've lost my aluminum for it. There it is already. Okay. Where were we? Generators. We'll keep on. This one just isn't useful currently, so we'll. Keep on clicking buttons. Okay. There's some extra generators hiding around here that I can also rob and put on here to make sure I don't make too many generators. Alrighty, once the soil centrifuge is out and ready, I'm gonna make some. There's one out here too, interesting. Right, we're out of. Hold on, I've opened this. Why am I not getting power? Oh, okay, I am getting powder. Power, I just have the wrong recipe selected. I was wondering why I couldn't print anything and it's because I couldn't print anything, alrighty. So we do need to fill up backpack power here, or backpack canisters. And then we do need 
resin? No, we need clay. Clay first thing. Because I'm just behind on clay. Okay, so we need some diamonds. Alrighty here. Got a little bit turned around here, but I think we're doing okay. Need to get more organic. Just gonna watch if I don't mind. Well, I am streaming, so I'll tell you what. I'll make a deal with you. I won't mind, and then you can watch. Sonic a plan? Sounds like a great plan to me, at least. So, thanks for tuning in. I am, unfortunately, just a little preoccupied with all of the, like, busyness that kind of comes at the end of the run at this point. So we will check to see how much power base is needing here. Alrighty, so we have finished this. We can start smelting the clay that we need. So we have the second diamond, now we have the third diamond, and now we're basically done with this. Hopefully we have an extra graphene hiding around here somewhere. There's probably an extra graphene hiding somewhere. Okay. One. Our shuttle is one ceramic, two titanium alloy. Alrighty. So I think we're about done with this. So, two diamonds up here. Two titanium alloy in the inventory. You can start the large shuttle. And so now we need to finish those three over there. I do need a bit more resin, I'm pretty sure. I think I need one more resin for the medium platform aid that we were missing here. So let's go ahead and just continue moving stuff around here. Might need a hydrogen. got four of those so far got three fuel thrusters and the chair yeah and then I've got an extra medium storage that was a mistake oops okay this one can make a drill mod three we'll make that now alrighty and then we're almost done here we need a large storage over here I think that means I can turn off one generator and one just ran out so that'll be fine and I do need to fill up the rest of these, so maybe the soil centrifuge should be used. Whoopsies. Okay, I'm glad I didn't mess that up, I'm pretty sure. Oh my goodness, I can't interact with my inventory. Alrighty, this goes over here. The soil centrifuge needs to make organic, that's my guess. So far, so good. Just a little bit behind on power, I'd say. We'll go ahead and pick up more organic, keep on chucking it in the base. Also, we missed a follow forever ago. I apologize to whoever has clicked the follow button because I have been rudely ignoring you. Looks like Dereal412 just clicked follow. Dereal, thank you so much. And then Sab Sabriel has decided to look it up as well. Uh, I stream consistently around 2 to 3 o'clock on Sundays, uh, Eastern Standard Time, which may be consistent, or maybe not, who knows. Sabriel, thank you so much for that follow, I really appreciate it. Alrighty, we'll kick off some more power here. Alrighty, the front half, kind of powered, back half. Alrighty, we're getting there. We're getting there. What else can we do here? We can fill up and make more organic. Alrighty. Seems fine. And then once this finishes, we should be very close to being done. I still need an, a single resin, and I still need a single compound. Wait, what do I need the compound for? Do I need the compound? I think I might be making that up. Oh, the single compound gets me a generator for my backpack. Because right now I don't have a generator for my backpack. There it is. Okay, got the single resin. Can run back to base here. 
and uh, we'll hopefully take off for Aatrox very, 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 very shortly. Okay. Oh, I still need more resin as well, but okay. Well, you can't win them all. Yeah, I'm missing resin um, for my silicone recipe. So we have one hydrogen here. Where is the second hydrogen? Okay, both of those are in my inventory now. Okay, we'll let that burn out. Shuttle is finally here. Let's go ahead and get ready to take our friend, Mr. Shuttle, to Aatrox. So Mr. Shuttle needs to have the large storage at the bottom and needs to have this thing about there or so. We can take that, put it there, because it doesn't really hurt us too much to put it there. This is good. We should have a medium storage right over there. You can even put two small power generating items inside our little medium storage friend, who can then sit in the oxygenator slot in Mr. Shuttle. Good to know. This goes on top. This, the other item building thing gets packaged. Here we go. On the side, we don't have any other storage items to go with, so we shall simply leave them there. And those are extra. Alrighty, we are good to go with Mr. Shuttle, but we do need more organic before we go, and it's faster to pick it up here, and more resin would be awesome if we can find some, so. Alrighty. And... Oh, I do want one more generator. Alrighty. I don't have any resin right now. So, I think we're good. Here's hoping we didn't forget anything. <sighs> oh, hey, Fizzy, I didn't even see you sneak in there. Alrighty, going to Aatrox. What is the orb? The orb is a developer item that is an Easter egg that you can find in the game hidden around. It is a large sphere that you can carry around just barely, and it is uh, kind of able to give off light. It comes in a couple patterns. There are zebra ones, there are checkered ones. They are all beautiful and they are all equal in my eyes, and yet, we can't land on Aatrox in a great location. So I'm, I might land here and go to the South Pole, but we'll see, we'll see. Um, if you find one, it's generally considered to be a blessed thing, so. Whoa, we're 30 minutes behind pace, yikes. That's because I, uh, quite Aatrox, there we go. Oh, okay, um, huh, huh, eh, yeah. I guess this is close, so, um, undo, nope, 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 yep. Flight to Aatrox. Okay, so we're only three minutes behind pace, according to what I see on my splits here, and my gateway isn't too far away. Fantastic. Alrighty, so I do need a bunch of resin, so we can pick that up here. I do need some methane, so while that's going, we'll see what we can pick up right here. Can I get three resin? We can get more than three resin. Fantastic. We can also get stuck on a plant, but you know, that's how plants work, I guess. Neato. This can roll roll over to filters. And we don't want to explode, so hopefully we don't explode on the way to our favorite base. Uh, something tells me I'm missing a platform. Yeah, I forgot to make a platform. So, I don't have an extra platform A. I think I'll be okay. I just have to string along six generators to kind of get there. Those plants launch explosive darts and I don't want to be hit by them the hard way, so I've been trying to avoid them as best as I can. Welcome to the gateway. Here we are going to try and set up a bunch of generators and use them as efficiently as possible. 
but that is easier said than done, and I do have to, unfortunately, save a resin by doing this. And, uh, click. Nope, missed the click. There's the click. Alrighty, so I think we're all hooked up. There, alrighty. Where, what just, what just launched? Okay, I can, that's fine. Here we go. One of those didn't get turned on, there it is. Uh. Now it's going down, fantastic. Alrighty. And where did my platform go? Here it is. We have one methane already, and then this can be taken out and exchanged for two methane. Plus the powder. I want to turn these off as fast as we can. Bit of a mess, but I think we're doing okay. One of these can go in my inventory, the other two can go back here. I think we have the second make that already though, so I do need a different gas. Get some sulfur. And I do think I will just go to the center of the planet right now. So I don't want to carry this methane with me. I've got the hydrogen, so let's go. So now we have a little bit of organic with us. We're after the center of the planet. And the center of the planet will get us a triptych. The triptych is what we need to help complete the game. It's a speed run. Let's go. Captain Space Duster, how is it actually having snow? Um, it's a bummer to shovel. We just got hit with a pretty big snowstorm over the weekend. It's fine. Shoveling is a bummer, but we can do it. We can survive, so I don't know. If that's all that it really amounts to, I'm okay with it. Um, driving does get a little rough, but so far, so good. We'll make a filter so we don't suffocate, and then we can continue sliding down. I could have gone steeper, I guess. I didn't want to risk it too much. Okay. I guess we're just sliding down here. I don't want to take too much fall damage. This can probably be slidden against here. Perfect, let's do this here. We're getting pretty low on gravity, so I'm not worried about actually taking fall damage at this point. Okay, probably could have saved a little more time there, but I'm okay, I'm okay with everything. We made it down in one piece, and that's the important thing. We didn't explode randomly by hitting a, a tactus that, you know, detonated the hydrogen we were carrying, so we'll take it. Can you bring us some snow? I have no intention of making it all the way to Germany, Bakerfish, so, no. Well, we saved a little bit of time. So we need to get that plus two minutes, 40 seconds time right above my head here, down below, so it says it's a green number. That means we're on world record pace. Wow, what is this place? It looks awesome. This is the gateway. There is, there's an engine. There's an engine at every single planet. It's a bit of a mystery, and you have to bring a resource that is the center of every single one. Harder planets need harder to get resources. Easier planets need easier to get resources already. We never got our second sulfur, so I need to get the second sulfur before I can leave this planet. Once we do, then we can go. So we'll drop off the triptych here. We'll grab the second sulfur off the top just by doing that. We'll shove this thing right in the middle, and we'll make a explosive pattern with that. And I do need a fresh shuttle on the bottom of this here rocket ship, so we'll throw that on. Oh, have it. I'm getting out. And there goes the shuttle thruster on the bottom. I heard a ding sound that usually means this finished. It did. So now we'll start the second one. And we'll blast off to Kalidor to try and get the rest of the 
Um, triptic. So, uh, Sazik Sabriel, you are learning that this is uh, probably not a normal playthrough of Astroneer. This is indeed a pretty serious any percent run of a Astroneer speed run. So we are racing through all of the objectives of the game, not really stopping to smell any of the roses along the way, despite there being a number of like amazing plants to look at. And uh, we're trying to complete the game as fast as possible. That involves landing. Oop, I want to land here. By every single gateway on the surface, powering it with however many generators we need to power it by, and then racing down to the center of the planet to try and get all of the triptychs. Once we have enough triptychs, then we are good to be on our merry way, basically. Okay, 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 okay. So we're going to... Grab this. Can we go ahead and make two silicone now? We can. Good, 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 good. So now we're going to run all the way over here. I sure hope I have both. Okay, explosive powder in my inventory, and I seem to, so that's awesome. Need one more of these things, so we'll make it. Oh, I forgot that throws the silicone on the ground because of the inventory issue. Alrighty. Now we got to run over to this gateway power the thing, and then we'll be on our merry way, trying to make up some of that time here. Ah! Where? Why did it shoot in that direction? That was just weird. Let's open up the little box on the bottom there. Alrighty, I'm a little concerned that this won't power a gateway. So, here's hoping, but we'll see. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Let's try the riskier side first. I don't know if all of those will work, so I'm gonna turn on two extra ones. And uh, we'll see what happens. I've got two generators on. Alrighty. So, with any luck, that'll power the gateway, and we won't run out of power in the generators on the surface. If we do, Run's kind of toast, so, uh, you know, that's kind of my safety backup, just turning on some extra generators, because I'm on world record pace, I think. I think I can make up the time that, I'm lo that I've am that i lost so far, but it's going to be close. Okay, there's some extra resources that I didn't need, so we'll just hope that those go away. It did look like you were in a hurry playing this game. You being on a speed node makes more sense now. Yeah, sorry about that. Usually when you see uh, a split, this is the program above my head is called Live Split. That usually means that player is speed running the game. However, if you've never seen a speed run before, well, I mean, there's no reason why you wouldn't know what that is. So we're going to use a trick here. If you slide your face along a wall, you're able to can be considered walking and then you don't take fall damage. Weird as that is, we use that quite heavily when we're trying to make these incredibly rapid descents into other planets to try and avoid taking as much fall damage as we might need to. Hey, uh, bigger fish, I found your orb. It's right here. I don't have time to say hello, but it's right there. Look at this orb. Hello! Right on, Calador, right as you demanded it, basically. And we powered the gateway, so we aren't at risk of losing the run because there is no force field here. Fuzzah. Alrighty, now we need to turn in our explosive powder into this planet. We can move on. Orb! Chat shouts orb because there is an orb. Alrighty. Whoa, we are only 13 seconds behind world record. Whoa. Alrighty. Alrighty, chat. It's serious time, so that might mean I don't say anything for a while. Your orb spam keeps me going. Alrighty, alrighty. as early as we wanted to because the rocket was in collision with the gateway and it wasn't going to let me take off. So, looks like I turned it around. Yeah, so there was a death in the world record on Kalidor on top of we found more time saves. So, that is why I 
am able to save some amount of time there, but we aren't on world record pace yet. We have to save more time. We have to be quick. We have to be fast. We have to be efficient. We have to land next to gateways. Like, I don't, I don't see the gateways. Where are the gateways? Where? There's a gateway. So where are the landing locations? Oh dear. Here is a long walk to the South Pole. Or a long walk to that one, so I'm going to just orbit the planet for a better landing location, because those ones are not efficient. But I'm kind of widening my eyes, because the seconds that I lose here are very important. So the top unloads, the bottom loads in. Oh dear. Okay, this looks kind of close to a gateway. We'll see. So I clicked near one, and I know there's a gateway right on the axis that I clicked by, so hopefully it doesn't go too far. Oh, this is this is pretty nice. So we did have to wait a long time. But I think we're going to be okay. So what we're going to do is just pick up a bunch of organic. And we're going to grab shuttle. Okay, I know I put a resin in the base somewhere, in the rocket somewhere. I don't see it yet, though. Okay, I see the resin now. Hey, thank you for the bits, whoever just did that. I can't read them out yet, but you know, we're getting there. We're getting there. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Okay, we're good. This needs to go on there. I need two graphene. All right, and I need a generator. Yep, okay. This is extra. And uh, we only have one extra organic. That's not enough. Let's grab a little bit more. Let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Fizzy Flask dropped in. Fizzy, thank you for the 100 bits. Sabriel, thank you for the 25. Yo, so, like, I don't do a whole lot here, right? I just stream. I have, like, kind of okay commentary, but it's questionable at times. And yet, like, people show up. They want to watch. They're interested in what I do. And then... No! It was at a death. Yeah, that was a death because I ran into a pop coral that was... Fr that That's exactly how I died on, um, Calador, for what it's worth. Uh, we can, we can fix it by just going and picking up the dead body. <laughs> okay, so that... There's another, like, 30-second time loss. It's the worst way to die in this game, because you can't see the, the pop coral, but yet it kills you anyway. The great news is that we are still able to make it work. Alrighty. So now I don't have much organic left, but I think I'll be fine. So yeah, pop corals are uh, dangerous because the closer you are to them when you mine them, the more damage they will do to you. And when you kind of core slide like this, if you just happen to encounter a pop coral, you're toast. You're, you're just toast, you know? You can't do a whole lot about it. So yeah, unfortunate time loss. We are starting to suffocate now. We almost hit a second pop coral. But I think we are near the second to last layer. So as long as we fall with enough speed, we should be fine. Oh, we're going to be kind of close. Oh, no, we're fine. We're fine. We are suffocating, yes, but once we pass this purple barrier, we are within an oxygen-giving zone, and we are at no risk of suffocating once again. So we will flip over the edge. So we will then drop our graphene inside and run around the other edge. Seven point nine seconds of time save. The reason we have time save there is because I didn't spend as much time picking up organic that I used to. So even though we died, ah! <laughs> we're, we're holding out. We're barely there. I'm not sure what's going to happen though. We could have a world record on our hands. Maybe we won't. I'm going to do my very best. Okay, sure, we'll put that there. We can put that there. We can put that there. We can put that there. And I want to pick up as much organic as I can as quickly as possible. So that looks like this over here. These large fields of organic. Don't want to pick up the shuttle, though. That kind of is a slow thing. Okay. Organic collected. Let's move our organic platform right here. Oh, oh, 
<laughs> Gotta make sure those are off. Okay, we only need two more here. I do need some resin, so some of that would be neat. Shuttle thruster, please. Load the organic onto the silo so fast. If you have organic in your inventory and you click on the silhouette, the little hologram of where it says organic can go, then it will instantly move an organic from anywhere in your inventory on the terrain tool or in your backpack onto the generator and turn it on. So I click on it and then immediately press the F key to, which is my interact key to turn off the generator. All right, this is where we botched the last world record attempt. We tried landing on a gateway and then we landed, but then it said we couldn't land there after it had tried to land there. It ejected us back into orbit. It was a sad day. So we're hoping we don't have any trouble. Let me land. Oh, this looks clean. This looks beautiful. You can even do a little weird speed slide along the way because that's just a thing you can do on these planets. Alrighty, we should have two silicone in our inventory but our backpack is a little full and we have one silicone where did the second one go ah, well i guess there's just one in here Alrighty, we have both silicone that's on let's go Vasani is a moon so it usually goes a little faster than the others we want to go very steep if we can there we go that was that was awesome We'll deal with the fact that we're just kind of spamming out hematite in the world we don't need to and we hope we won't run into any dangerous plants along the way I hear a hispine. I don't think it's able to damage me, though. There's an attack disc. Whoa! Okay. We are just kind of sliding here, but as you can see, there's something weird going on where we were just aren't sliding as fast as we want to. I'm not sure what's up with that. So we probably had a little bit of a slower descent than we needed to, but I will take it. Just a little bit of time. Feels good. So now we need to fly to the mysterious solar satellite. Oh, did I did I back up? Did I no this is a moon of a sign? Did I, did I say the wrong thing? I probably did. Yep, that's that's a toaster thing to do. Say the wrong thing all the time. Now, you may be wondering why we left all the generators there. That's because we're technically done with them, if it all goes well. So, that's the plan. Sirius Satellite is in the center above the sun. Ah, now to the question mark, question mark, question mark platform. Yo, is it Loganator or is it L0? What will he get into next? Ganator. 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 Hello, welcome to the stream. Thank you for the follow. Do you collect orbs and not on speedruns? I mean, we do dance to them sometimes, but uh, I didn't have time to dance next to an orb for three seconds, I'm pretty sure. Okay, let's run. Picking up the shuttle. There it is, we can rip off this thing. Alrighty, so this thing, I have no idea which planet this is. Technically world record by 15 seconds. I'm okay with this. 
I was literally just watching your speedruns on YouTube, and the link to the description bar brought me here. Well, then, Logan, you are witnessing what could be another world record as long as we don't make too many mistakes. I totally thought that was Silva because I saw so many planets cl clumped up together. So then I looked for the other blue planet. That was Silva because I actually had a moon. So then I went back to the other one, and it turns out Glacia was just hiding in disguise. Thank you so much for the good luck. I'm kind of like my heart's racing. Also, I completely forgot we had a garbage Glacio, so we have to orbit Glacio until we can land on it, because that's how this game works. There was a landing location down here to the right, but well. Toaster, this is looking decent. It is Sizzix until you get to the point where you're on Glacio and you have to just kind of orbit it and you kind of spam click on it because you want to land on it as soon as you can. But now we're just, uh, I'm dying inside just a little bit, but I think I can make up time by descending quickly. Okay, there we go. I clicked on Glacio. Let's go. Let's go. We have the two diamonds in our inventory, and instead of powering the gateway, we brought the second requirement. Instead of powering the gateway, you can just bring a chair with you. Let's see if this works out in our favor. Let's double check that our inventory is on. Yep, it is. We can drop this off. Okay, let's go. Interestingly enough, that was the ramp that I made earlier when I visited Glacia. Alrighty, just kind of dealing with all the rocks and stalagmites. Hopefully those stop giving us trouble here in a hot second. This isn't very steep. I need to go steeper to go fast. Okay. It's pretty clean. So far, so good. We're gonna jump. Slide into a wall, maybe. Okay, that that should have saved a world record attempt right there. That was a pretty fast thing to do compared to like mining slowly. So we'll see if that works out. This camera angle now. Okay, okay, okay. okay. So now, the force field is up because we didn't power a gateway on the surface. But as I said earlier, that is what the chair is for. So, we are going to try and, uh, you know, ask the force field nicely, hey, uh, can we get in? And we're going to do that by asking it with a chair. And by asking it with a chair, I mean we're going to slip our camera behind the force field and just drop the chair and do that. Okay, perfect. You just slide over here to this thing, probably. <laughs> it always like rotates you to the wrong side. I can't quite figure it out. Okay, diamonds are in. We're getting all the triptychs. And now, because we've been to the solar platform, we can complete Glacia. Oh my goodness, this is so close here. And we can teleport to the solar platform. We can calm our beating hearts as best we can. Can run all the way over here. Deposit the last triptych on the last platform. Time. Uh. That's a world record by five seconds. <laughs> Okay, all right, was well, not even close. We totally had, that was in, yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, that was, yeah, okay. All right, uh, okay, how are you today? <laughs> I'm doing fine. Let's go get this burrito. <sighs> hey, Kaden, how's it going? Kaden, we didn't tie. That was a, it, uh, it up, it, Live Split has already updated the comparisons on the right side with what we just got. What we just have on the right side is now the new time to beat. So we didn't time. We saved 5.3 seconds. I have no idea what happened, but you being happy it sure is making me happy. This is Sabriel. Sabriel, um, the previous world record was 1 hour 42 minutes and 38 seconds from fresh start from the launch of a new save to this credit scene that you're seeing now where you can enjoy this beautiful burrito. Um, 
I just updated the world record with a faster time from start to finish, but I only saved five seconds, so I did beat it. But by a, ve a very small amount. <laughs> Which is just insignificant, but yet, like, we're gonna submit it anyway, cause why not?